Hey y'all, my name is Emma and today for this lecture we're going to be talking about listening. So before we jump right in to what listening is, um, we need to establish that listening skills are the number one thing in interpersonal communications. Um, we would not have communication between people without effective listening skills. So we are going to jump right in. What is listening? So listening has um, kind of five different steps. So the first step is select. We are kind of deciding what we're interested in and what um, a person has to say. That's selecting. Number two is attend. So when we attend, we're kind of making an effort to focus on what someone is saying to us. Um, the third step is understanding. Are we receiving the information um, and does it make sense to us? So the fourth um, step to listening is remembering. Are we able to recall the information at a later date? And then the fifth is responding, asking questions, providing feedback um, to people when they are talking to us. So in listening, there are four main types of listeners. The first one is relational. So relational people, um, relational listeners are people who are listening with the intent to kind of make an emotional connection with someone. They like to hear the human side of what somebody has to say. So unlike relational um, listeners, the second is critical. So critical listeners are people who are kind of looking for the more organized details and in the information they're receiving. Um, they're not really looking to make that kind of connection and they are very good at receiving all the information before kind of jumping to a conclusion about what someone has to say. So the third is analytical. So analytical people are kind of similar to critical listeners. Um, they do look for that organized, detailed um, information, but when they're listening, they kind of tend to question or second guess what that person is saying um, rather than kind of just listening to them. So the fourth style of listener is time or task oriented. So time or task oriented people um, are gathering information more for the purpose of being practical um, and they're kind of interested in getting the information for completion of a task. Um, so when I did this um, when I did this lecture, um, I actually asked my friend what kind of listener she thought I was. She thought I was a time or task oriented listener. Personally, I don't really agree with that. I feel like I'm definitely more of a mix between um, like relational and critical because I like to kind of um, have empathy and um, feel what other people are saying, but I also do like to look for organized details and information. But that is just what she said about me and I thought I would throw that in there. So we have gone over um, what listening is and the four different types of listeners. So now we can go over what are some information processing barriers. So information processing barriers. The first one that we can talk about is processing rate. So our brains are able to process more than we can speak, meaning when we are listening to someone, sometimes our brains don't fully comprehend what they're saying um, right away. And this can kind of stagger effective listening a little bit. Um, number two is information overload. When someone is kind of telling us a lot of information and we can't properly receive all of it at one time. So the next is receiver apprehension. So this is kind of when people are worrying about gathering the information and it makes their listening skills um, kind of decline. So then the fourth information processing barrier is shifting attention. When there's like other things going on and it's not easy to just kind of focus in on what someone is saying. So there are also um, other types of barriers called listening barriers. Um, these are kind of like emotional noise. So kind of how we feel about information can kind of stop the um, listening process a little bit. Um, criticism, meaning that we kind of sometimes judge the speaker and this can hinder our listening skills a little bit. Um, and then we also have self barriers when we kind of sabotage the speaker's message because we are not seeing the relevance of the message to ourselves. So all of us, of course, can always improve our listening skills. I just want to go over a couple of those really quickly. 
So ways to improve our listening skills. Listening with your eyes, using those nonverbal um, forms of communication is really, really important with communicating. Um, and that's something that I think everybody can improve on. Um, moving to a different location is also another thing. Personally, I have trouble focusing on what someone has to say if I'm in an area where it's, where it's really like noisy and there's a lot of different things distracting me. Um, you don't prejudge the speaker, listen to what they have to say, practice empathy, like I was saying before, and sympathy, don't interrupt people, and look for feedback, ask questions, ask for clarifications on what they're saying. Um, but yeah, so that was my lecture, and I hope everyone is taking away a little bit more information about listening skills. Thanks!